Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a nurse's role during intubation and I actually did this on my IGTV on my Instagram a couple weeks ago so if you've already seen it then it's going to be a lot of same information but if you haven't then welcome. So a nurse's role during intubation. So um, there's depending on where you're at this may differ. Um, so I'm going to kind of be speaking on my own personal experiences but where I'm at the respiratory therapists or RTs are usually the ones that are assisting the doctor in the actual intubation as far as checking, um, you know, breath sounds afterwards, getting the equipment set up, checking to see if CO2 is detected, getting the ventilator hooked up, bagging the patient, things like that. So some places nurses may do that. You may need to assist in that depending on if there's not enough RTs or whatnot, depending on the situation. But where I'm at, RTs take care of pretty much this up and um, everything else is kind of more of the nurse's role. So that's what I'm going to be touching on. So first and foremost is you're going to be monitoring your patient's vital signs. I like to make sure that I have my alarm set on my monitor how I want them. You want to know your patient's pre-intubation vital signs because if they're already a little hypotensive or tachycardic, bradycardic, whatnot, then you're going to have to, you might need like fluids ready to kind of boost their blood pressure or pressors. Obviously that's gonna be under a physician's order, but it's always kind of good to have these things ready. So that way in the case that, oh yeah, now your blood pressure is 60 over 30, we're not running to go grab fluids. We already have everything hooked up and ready there. Um, I like to turn the volume up on like my heart rate monitor so I can hear each QRS, so you can hear if it's going up or down. I set my vital signs, the blood pressure cuff to go about every two minutes if they don't have an arterial line. So that way I just continuously can be monitoring my vital signs and of course you make sure that you are um, charting all that after the fact or during what, however it works where you're at but for me I can't be doing stuff and charting at the same time so <laughs> I have to go back and um, chart but the other role of nurses during intubations is to give medications so I'm not going to get too much into the different types of medications but it's important to have these medications ready the physician's going to tell you hey grab this this and this or whatnot and i like to always have a little bit more of um whatever they tell me to grab so that way i you just want to make sure you have enough during the um, intubation so that way if like hey you give this amount of fentanyl and they're like oh, okay give a little more and you're like well you only told me to to draw this well at least it's already ready i'd rather waste the vial or return the vial of medication than to not have enough during the intubation because then it just delays things and it can be dangerous for your patients. I also like to make sure I have my sedation, post intubation sedation ready to go. So if you're doing propofol or fentanyl or Presidex, whatever you're gonna be using post intubation, I like to have that ready to go so that way I can start it after the patient's intubated and their vitals look okay and they're, it's safe. So you want to make sure afterwards that you're charting everything. It's good to have another nurse there with you. Um, so that way you can kind of both tag team. One person may be giving medications. The other person may be um, charting for you or ordering things or maybe writing on the whiteboard like this medication was given at this time, this one at this time. So that way you can kind of go back and make sure things are charted correctly. Also, another really important thing prior to intubation is make sure you have all of your patients past medical history and labs memorized because certain medications may not be appropriate for that patient the physician should know that but they may have forgotten or missed that little piece of informa information so you could be like hey are you sure you want to give that medication and kind of be their second brain so to speak otherwise post intubation i'm continuing continuing to monitor my patient's vital signs uh, making sure that they're looking stable or intervening if necessary. Also, you're going to get a chest x-ray afterwards. I like to bring my OG tube in if the physician wants one so that way I can just drop an OG right away. Make sure that it's not like going into the lung because they're going to check a chest x-ray <laughs> right afterwards. Also grabbing restraints if it's appropriate for the patient so that way they don't kind of start waking up and go right for the tube because that's kind of like your first instinct. But other than that, I think that's all the things I want to talk about. I'm sure I'm missing some things, but if you have anything to add, leave it down below. I hope you guys enjoy this type of video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.